we wrote the equation of a line in y equals mx plus b form. What are the numbers you have to find in this equation? The y and x's are going to stay the same, Lisbon. But what numbers do you have to find, Marie? Okay, the slope and the y-intercept. You have to start with the slope first. So to find the slope, some of you don't want to use the parentheses. The problem is you get that minus sign confused with any of those negative signs there. So that's not a good thing. So if I get my parentheses there, that helps. It's y over x. That's another issue. This is, uh, no, this I'm just reviewing this. So they can put it on the front if they want. Because I'm going to show them another way to write the equation of a line, which I, you should like a lot better, and it's a lot easier. But we have to be able to do both. Okay, Jake? Kind of zoning out there. What do you want to put in for the first Y? Terrace, what do you want to put in for the first Y? Good. What's the other Y value then? Negative 1. See, this is the problem. We miss... We mess that up. It's not on there. I just want to notice it's all done by hand. Now, Maurice, what goes with four? Which number? Negative two. You're still going to have to do this on this other method. And then once I've done that, I only have one number left. Okay? Then we have to add those. If you can't do that, then use a calculator. Because I want to see you get it right. What's four minus a minus one? Five. And what's a negative two minus a minus three? I'll make this plus and plus. So it's negative two plus three. No, negative two plus three. That's one. Okay, we did that. And so we have y equals mx plus b. So in place of m, I'm going to put the five. Some of you are messing up with the, you're putting the, the other numbers in there. No, m is the slope you just found. Which ordered pair do you want to put in there? Ne negative 2, 4, or negative 3, negative 1? It doesn't make any difference. Brisbane, which one do you want to put in there? i got to find b. So I know what x and y are because they're over there. Which one do you want to use? I don't care. Okay, so he wants to use this one. What goes in for y? I'm going to replace y with the y-coordinate. What's the y-coordinate here? It's x comma y, alphabetical, negative 1. And that's times x. What's x? Okay, what's x? No iPads. We don't need them. Put them away. No, we're not doing that right now. Marie? No. But once I choose this y, I must choose that x. Okay, so Gabe, what's the x? Well, we're not doing this right now. Okay, we're doing this. Because you're going to miss instruction. Come on, Gabe, you can do it. What's the x value? You don't know what x is here? Do you want to get credit in this class? Well, then you have to care. It won't last. No, it won't. Because we have a whole quarter left and you've got to know x and y. We're going to do a lot, nothing but graphing. So, Gabe, what's the x value? Negative 3. Very good. Plus... B. These are standard linear equations. Okay, so you need to, and Elias, we're not doing that, we're doing this. Yes, you need to do it with me. I'll be collecting this packet. This problem should be there because it's right here right now. Okay, Gabe, where's you need a pencil? You don't have that problem. You have to write it down. Uh huh. We're reviewing this. You don't just watch because you're not involved then. you got to be involved. So first we found the slope. Now I can, I can check the slope. I can do this in my head with the top number and the bottom number. But I don't know if I'm going to get it right with the positive and the negative. It's not on there for the third time. This is something I've written on there. I said I'm going to review. Yeah, write it down. You got a piece of paper right there. Write it right on your paper. Because I want you to remember how hard this is. This is not so easy because there's a lot of steps. First, you have to find the slope. Then you have to write y equals mx plus b and replace y 
and the slope and the x. Now you have to solve for b, and we're still not done. This is negative 1 equals, what's 5 times negative 3? Negative 15 plus some number here. How do you solve for that? I want b all by itself. Add 15. And we have to be able to solve these equations like this in science class. I talked to your science teachers and said, we really need to be able to have them solve something like this. I said, yeah, you're probably right. What's this going to give you? And use calculator if you don't know. 15 minus 1 is 4. 14 equals B. Am I done? No. This is a pain. I'm doing this on purpose so you realize how nice this other method is. So it's y equals mx plus b. I will put the slope in. So the slope was 5. Slope is always a number. It's times the x-coordinate plus 14. Remember, that's where the line crosses the y-axis. Mm -hmm. Okay, almost done all day. Now we're going to do the packet. And it's not going to be that much different, really. Yep, well, we'll start it at least, and then we'll have you work on it. Okay, so this is what we've been doing. And we need to have a quiz on that. Put your phone away, Jacob, please. You forgot, I'm the queen of text messaging. I've been text messaging since 1990. Yep. No, we had regular phones, better phones than that. What's five times five? You just leave it. That's the equation for the line. That's the final answer. Okay. Okay, Rusbin. Rusbin, our goal is to write the equation of the line that goes through those two points. In quadratic algebra, we'll try to find the parabola that goes through those two points. Elias, you need to put that away because we're going to do this. Okay, are we ready then? Must be ready. Okay. We're going to learn a new form, which is a nicer form. It's the form I use in calculus. It's called point, slope, and I'm going to slide this a little bit. Well, actually, I'll, I'll do it down here, maybe. It should be on the first page. Yes? Sure, I don't care. It's where you put it wherever you want. Okay, what is slope formula? M is equal to y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Okay, how do you find the slope? Okay, Nick? Change in the y divided by the change in x. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make, I'm going to find the slope between this point. So how would I find that? The slope equals, okay, do you have your packets from yesterday? Otherwise I have more. Okay, how would you find the slope here? M equals what? Y minus the 5. Like, let's just call that, let's not use the point yet. Okay, guys, you're not listening. Let's just call it X1 and Y1. So we're going to take any point on the line, call it XY. This is a specific point. Let me write that. That is a specific point. We know where it is. Like, in this problem, well, we're going to do this problem. I have to introduce this. And it looks like that. It's going to have some values. Okay? So how do you find the slope? This is y minus this y value divided by x minus that x value. And that's called a proportion. And we did this a long time ago. We had proportions. We had 1 half equals x over 8. And we cross multiplied. Do you remember that? Yeah. We're going to do the same thing. I know you're going to say there's a lot of letters there, but that's okay. 
Letters just represent numbers. That's all they are. That's all algebra is. It's arithmetic with letters. So we're going to go ahead and cross multiply these. We're going to multiply these together. And I'm going to get y minus y1 equals my slope times x minus x1. Once I get through this and we do a couple of problems, you're going to say, oh, that's so much easier. And that's called point slope. My point is this x1 and this y1. That represents a point. Those are going to be numbers, and the slope is the same thing we did before. No difference. And it's going to be much faster than doing y equals mx plus b. Okay, Michael? It's going to be so much faster. So I have the point. They gave me, let me rewrite it down here because I can't see it at all. They gave me the point negative 1, comma 5, and they gave me the slope equals 2. I can change the y equals mx plus b form from this the easiest way. That is what I'd like to do. So what is my y value? in this ordered pair. Careful. It's alphabetical. Five. Equals, what's my slope here? Two x minus and then negative one. I don't even care if you simplify that to tell you the truth. That's it. That's the answer to the question. Where's your blue packet? Give it to you yesterday. I'll give you another one. That's the answer to the question. That was so much easier than y equals mx plus b. Can we change it to y equals mx plus b? Yes, we can. And even if you have fractions, this is so much easier. Okay, let's change it because we can. So I'm, I am going to have to uh, simplify that right side a little bit. Sorry. Okay, it's y minus 5 equals 2. Can I simplify that x minus a minus 1? What is that going to be? I need to be writing this down. No, what's a minus times a minus? It's, positive. it's plus 1. Then, you remember distributive property? You can go 2 times x, remember this? Plus, and then 2 times 1, which is? Two times one, two. two. Now I want to get y all by itself, so I got to get rid of the minus five. What can I do to do that? Add. add five and add five to the correct term over here. It doesn't have an x in it, and there it is. Y that had better be zero, which it is, equals <coughs> two x plus and two plus five is seven. I think that's a lot easier than the other way that I just reviewed. Now, I don't even care. If it asks us for the equation of the line in point slope form, there it is. I'm done. And even in calculus, I have to undo all the y equals mx plus b teaching that they've all had because I want it in this form because it's useful. It's useful when you study parabolas next year, too. Okay, let's try some more problems. Write the equation on the line that passes through those two points. Now, let me write the equation down. It's y minus y1. The difference in the y coordinates equals the slope, and it's x minus x1. I even I think I even write the form on the test for you, so you don't have to even memorize that. But it just comes from slope formula, so you can always figure it out. Those are the numbers I have to put in there. So if I want to put those numbers in there, I can use either point. Which point would you like to use? I like to do easy things first. Negative 1, 6, or do you want to use the 3, 5? Three, five. I'd rather use the 3, 5, then I don't have to worry about minus signs. <laughs> Which one is the y coordinate here? Five. So it's y minus 5 equals the slope, which I don't know what that is, and then it's x minus what? We'll do, we'll do both. What's x minus what? Three. You might have to move or I'll have to slide the board. Let's write the other form because you know what? It's exactly the same thing. It's just using a different point. What's the other one? Gabe, what's the y value with this one? Because I'll take either answer. There's two answers here. I want the y though. Six. Good. Very good. X and minus. What's this going to be then? Michael? I use this y. I need to now use this. X. What's the other x value? 
negative one. And you can leave it like that. I'll give you full credit for that, except there's one thing we're missing. The part you don't like to do. What are we missing? We're missing the slope, aren't we? We're missing this number right here. Okay, how do we find the slope? Remember? Y1 minus Y2 over X1 minus X2. Like I said, I can do that in my head, but I don't know if I'm going to get a positive or negative correctly because the order matters. Okay, so there's my parentheses that you guys don't like to put in, but I, if you put them in, you're going to be in much better shape. Okay, there's my points there. What Y value do you want to put in here? Gabe, what do you want to put in here? What do you want to put in the first one? I always start with the Ys. You should start with the Xs. It doesn't matter. Five? You want five, Marty? Okay. And what's this one? We use the five. What's the other Y value? No. Y coordinate. Y coordinate. Three is an X. Six. Some of you do have that problem. You get it mixed up. So write X, Y like I did. If that, I, mean, I don't know what else to do to help you. Now, 5 goes with which X coordinate? 3. And I have no choice but to put in negative 1 here. So what's the slope? This is a negative 1 over what? No. 3 minus a minus 1. 4. See, this is the part you don't like, right? It's the harder part. Doing this is the easy part. And we're done. You're done. So this is way faster than y equals mx plus b. Here's the other issue with y equals mx plus b. I now have a slope that's a fraction. If you notice all the problems I gave you didn't have fractions for slopes because it makes it a lot harder. So you do it this way, it's easy. Do you want to change it to y equals mx plus b? It's still easier than doing y equals mx plus b. That's all there is. You just have to put the point in, the x, and the y, and find the slope. That's it. No, we don't have to. That's it. That's good. That's what we call my point slope form. I always get a point from the graph that's on the graph, and I get the slope. And in reality, this is really the data you collect. You rarely get the y-intercept. Let's try some more. Oh, here's a table. Okay, let's, let's write the, f the point slope formula right here. Is that, can anybody, does anybody know it yet? Y minus Y1 equals M X minus X1. You may take any point out of that table. I don't care which one. I take 1 and negative 2 and 1. 1 and 11. So Merdis would like to do this. There are four different answers, but they're all the same equation. And the only way you would know would be change to y equals mx plus b. Okay, so let's put that in, and then we'll do the hard part. I always do the easy part first. So since Merdis chose that, what's going to be my first y value? Uh, 11. Do you guys like this? Is this easier? Yes. yes. x minus what? 2. 1. And now we have to find the slope. We could use slope formula, or we could be cl more clever than that. We could just use the table. So I could pick any two ordered pairs to figure out what the slope is. Do you want to use, it doesn't matter to me, you want to use these two? So if I start at negative 1 and I go to 1, how many spaces have I moved? Okay, so if I add a positive 2, how about... Oh, 8 to 11. How many is that? 3. What's the slope? Careful. Y over X. 3 over 2. You can always actually do that, is create your two problems into a table. I kind of like that because it's easier. Now let's see if that really is true. How many does this move? Negative 3 to negative 1. It's up 2, and this is three. up 3. These are called rates of change, and it's a constant rate of change because it's the same no matter how I do it. That's it. That's all there is. How do they get this formula? You cross multiply. You multiply this times this, and 1 times y minus y2 minus y1. Okay, well, let's do some more problems, and there's a lot of practice in here. 
So it's, it's your worksheet and it's your assignment. Okay, write the equation of the line here. Oh, I would use which form? Why? That's correct, but why? Because we know where B is. Where's B? It's at 5. That's 5. Do I know the slope? Is it positive or negative? Negative. And I got to find where this crosses a grid. Looks like it crosses the grid marks right here. How many spaces? On, I like doing rough graphs personally. That's 2 and, and that's 1. So what's the slope? Positive or negative though? Po positive? You're going down the hill. Negative. <laughs> okay, so y equals the slope, which was negative 2, times x, plus the y-intercept, which is, what's b? It's where does it cross the y-axis, right there. It's plus 5. We can do point slope, too. Doesn't matter. You could take this ordered pair. What's the name of this ordered pair right here? Where is that? The x is what? 1. And the y is? No, I'm off one more. 3. Okay, so all I have to do is this. y minus the y value. What's the y value here in this ordered pair? 3 equals my slope, negative 2, x minus the y, uh, x coordinate, which is 1. You do it either way. This was nice because we knew where the y-intercept was. But in most cases in your science classes, you don't know where that is. You don't always know. So that made that easy. Your choice, by the way. Okay. And you guys can, if you're ready, you can turn the page. And we're going to just change point slope into y equals mx plus b, which is slope intercept. Are we ready now? Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to rewrite it because for me that's hard to see. It's y minus 3 equals negative 5 x plus 1. And the question is slope intercept. That What they mean by that is I want y equals mx plus b. So first thing I'm going to do is distribute that negative 5 because I can't think of anything else to do. So when you distribute this, what do you get? Negative what? 5 times x. You're just multiplying them, remember? Nick, what do I get with this one? A negative 5 times a positive 1 is what? Negative 5. So I distribute. Should I write that down? I distribute. Oops, a little bit off there. And then we solve for y. Because often, I may not be given the y-intercept, but maybe I want it for whatever problem I'm working on. We'll do some word problems. You won't like them. <laughs> and then what am I going to do? I want y by itself. So minus 3 tagging along. How do I get rid of that, Jacob? Good, plus 3. And then, of course, some of us have some arithmetic problems, so you use a calculator. I want you to get the answer right. The concept is just what I'm doing. The arithmetic is what gets you in trouble. So I check. Is that zero? Yeah. yeah. So it's equal to negative 5x. And what's a negative 5 plus 3? What kind of 2? Negative 2. It's still easier than doing the regular y equals mx plus b form. It's easy to go from this form to this, even with fractions. You get your fraction calculator out to do the fractions. Well, those are all the different types of problems. Oh, I'm sorry. So I'll help you with the first couple of practice problems, and then you're on your own. Okay, here is the formula. Y minus Y1 equals M X minus X1. I'd almost rather not even teach you y equals mx plus b, but it does come in handy. We do have to have it. Okay, Mike, you gonna help me with this one? Sure. These are the numbers I have to put into the formula. Everything else will be the same. 
So it's y minus what? What's the y value? Negative 3 equals, and now i got to put the slope in. What's the slope? 2. And then it's x minus the x value. Negative 1. That's right. It's nice to clean that up because what's this really going to be? But you, I'm not going to make you do it. That's it. You're done. That's all you have to do. I know. It's too easy, isn't it? But can you fix it? Can you clean it up a little bit? Sure. What's a minus and minus 3? Plus 3 because we need a little practice with that. And then this is x plus 1. No, we're not going to distribute. I just want to get rid of those double negatives. Okay, let's do one more. Maybe somebody wants to come up and do it. Y plus 3 equals 2x plus 1. You could change it to y equals mx plus b. Didn't ask you to do that. If they ask you to do that, you'll have to do it. Anybody want to come up and do the next one? You guys all tired? <laughs> okay, so it's y minus x minus. Okay, so here's a 1, and here's a negative 1. Okay, Paris, what goes in this little spot right here? These are all my spots. Which, because it's x, y. So this is the y, so I can put negative 1 right there. Does that help? Oh! And then there's my slope. So what goes here? Well, negative. negative 7 goes here. And what goes here? One. There you go. Yeah, that's what you're smart for. Okay, do you think you have it? You can try some on your own now? Yeah, you got plenty of space on the paper. Not an issue. No, you can do it. Someone else can come up and do it. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what am I going to write here? Y, y minus equals m and an x minus okay so what's the y value what's m negative whoops grab the wrong thing is that okay now switch what i turned the page so you guys can try that. If you want to come up here and move the numbers, we can do that. <laughs> so Paris is going to do this. I'll get the numbers ready so we can move them. Okay, so you start out with the formula. For the next problem, y minus y1. Yeah, that's, yeah you got to write it. Yeah. Then, then comes your slope. And you may use your notes on your test and quiz. Oh, there'll be one coming up. We need to get a little more practice with this, and then we're done writing equations of lines. Okay, now you put your pen down, and now you can move the numbers. Mm -hmm. No, that's the slope. There you go. There you go. It's so much easier than y equals mx plus b, isn't it? Because you're done. So go ahead and work. I'm going to pause this. If we need to see some more, we will. But the only thing that you're going to have to do that makes this hard is you...